Okay, hello my friends, so welcome back to the, the educational channel and uh, this is the last video about the protection um, of the Boeing 737 or let's say uh, it's not valid for the Boeing 737, it's valid for all the airliners because they are making a subsonic flights uh, due to the uh, aerodynamic reasons uh, like the shape of the wing and so on and so on. Uh, we are not the fighters, we are uh, commercial pilots. Uh, so let's jump into it and uh, uh, let's see uh, what is uh, the Mach trim system. The Mach trim system you can uh, find it uh, right here and it's dual channel again. Dual channel means that if single channel fails uh, it um, you can only realize it with when press recall okay if it is a dual channel sorry single channel if it is dual channel uh, that means that this light will always showing okay uh, for time being it doesn't matter because uh, it has in common uh, all the speed trim and mach trim uh, with the IRSCs and put the right position over there in order to uh, lights coming off but uh, for the time being uh, I will show the picture uh, what I'm mm, making in, at my own with the uh, with the Windows basic uh, let's say tool okay so don't laugh and on the picture you can see the wing which is the red okay and uh, there is the uh, let's say uh, wind uh, particles which are blowing underneath the wing and overhead the wing and as the shape of the wing is like this uh, it could happen that the particles on the lower sides are making the lower speeds and on the higher sides on the higher side uh, it will go and it will rise uh, with a higher speed. Okay, uh, it's basic of the uh, of the physics uh, related to the ATPL theory uh, because uh, those of the particles uh, need to uh, switch to switch together in the in the leading edge device, or let's say on the on the on the aft side of the wing and uh, what we have to do uh, when we are flying on airliner uh, we have to divide uh, the subsonic flight and supersonic flight okay supersonic flight we have to mm, just get rid of the of this because uh, it is valid for fighters not commercial airlines so we have to say we have to stay with the uh, uh, subsonic range uh, that means that uh, we have to keep uh, speed in the certain conditions that means that uh, uh, I am a little bit wrong okay uh, the subsonic flights on Boeing 737 uh, should rise up to uh, 0.84 Mach number okay and uh, as we are uh, as we are um, let's say uh, increasing the speed uh, that means that our true airspeed will increasing and uh, in this case uh, the airflow on the wing will increase as well and we have to define uh, what is the frontier of our uh, uh, of our subsonic flight on Boeing 737 is basically rel related uh, uh, when the Mach trim is operable up to uh, 8.4 okay uh, in this case after uh, this point uh, you can see the supersonic conditions over the wing and what happens it happens that the center gravity uh, it's moving uh, into the aft 
that means that your airplane will pitch down okay uh, it's some kind of I saw the video a few months ago and it was nice explaining it uh, when you are uh, mm, let's say uh, walking uh, opposite direction of the escalators okay so the the wind is uh, coming back and make the forces that the airplane is pitching down and the mach trim uh, will do the job uh, with uh, automatically put the elevator trim uh, into the right position in order to not the pitch down the airplane okay uh, so what is the mach number mach number it's basically uh, uh, the speed of sound in certain environmental conditions uh, it depends on your airspeed and it depends on your flight altitude because if you are flying higher you have uh, a lower temperature uh, that means that Mach number uh, will change uh, from your ground uh, up to your flight level that's why uh, we have the change over button okay and uh, at the end of the video I uh, just looked uh, there is another uh, part of the video uh, if you're flying on the constant indicated airspeed the Mach number will increases and uh, if you would like to avoid the uh, the excessive pitch, pitch uh, down trim we have to stay with uh, some range of Mach number okay so uh, we are now in the cockpit still and uh, if you can see on the overhead panel uh, sorry on the MCP panel uh, you can change over it is the change over altitude uh, don't ask me why but it differs from your gross weight and environmental conditions uh, the change over altitude and cost index as well the change over altitude will be uh, different for each phase of the flight okay but once you are on the change over altitude uh, you put the uh, you put uh, your indicated airspeed uh, to mark airspeed that means uh, that your airplane will keep the constant Mach number in order uh, to avoid this uh, shock wave uh, on the wing and uh, to avoid the to avoid the pitch down trip. Uh, so uh, we have basically two failures. One failure because this is this is dual channel. Uh, that means that uh, if I press recall and I can see uh, that uh, this will come up, uh, Mach trim fail. Uh, that means that uh, I have single channel if it is uh, for example you are taxing and you see it uh, right here that it's still illuminated it means that this dual channel failure and you have to go to back to the stand and make some decision and what is the decision? Uh, uh, the decision in our case uh, it's uh, go to the MIA minimum equipment list and then you can see that Mach trim systems okay uh, in this Mach trim system uh, you can uh, let me check it uh, I need to go here and uh, you can see that uh, we have two on board uh, that means that uh, it's dual channel okay and uh, if we have one system operable that means that uh, we have just operational reasons so that means that uh, we do not uh, call the maintenance or I think we will we'll leave it uh, like it is but we have to go to the, the dispatch deviation guide procedure and look what uh, it's depicted over there uh, if it is dual channel failure uh, that means that uh, there is a certain 
and circumstances uh, in which the maintenance should do and believe me uh, it's a huge amount of the things uh, what what to do uh, related to the maintenance so in this case I will not go deep into the details so if you look at the DDPG I will show just the operational re reason and now you can see on the column uh, which is number 3 which on next generation uh, that means uh, if port systems is inoperative uh, to 80 and maximum mag point 8 mag point 8 2 ok and then you can see the bench of the informations which are the below and uh, uh, and this is uh, this is related uh, when the single single channel uh, it's basically inoperative. Okay, uh, so there is nothing special. Uh, just uh, just in order to know uh, how the operation looks like, and I will not show you the the, the dispatch deviation guide procedure uh, related. Uh, to the maintenance actions because uh, it's uh, really hard to understand and there are a pretty bunch of things uh, which you would like to uh, which you wouldn't like to see okay so this is the explanation the basic explanation and in the end uh, there is the video I'll show you, show you right now and as you can see uh, with the constant indicated airspeed uh, so Mach number will be increasing uh, and if you would like to avoid this situation uh, to have the supersonic uh, conditions on the board and uh, to pitch the, the airplane down uh, we have to avoid this situation uh, just press, press change over and set desired Mach number and as you can see from the mail it should be indicated as P20 and uh, Mach number uh, 08 uh, 082 so uh, I hope you like this video and uh, yeah leave me a comment below so thank you very much for watching and see you next time soon bye ok guys now we are on the climb and as you can see the relationship between Mach number and EAS uh, I put manually uh, I disregard the cost index I put manually 270 indicated and uh, slash uh, 276 Mach number ok and as you can see uh, we are just climbing with indicated airspeed with this airspeed when this airspeed indicated airspeed uh, if we s if it is constant, uh, that means that our Mach number is rising, as you can see right now. Uh, as we reach the change over altitude, uh, which is right here, CO, I put it into level change mode. Okay, as you can see, uh, we have uh, 270. Okay. And as you can see, as you can see on the V now, uh, it will automatically reverts when change over into Mach 0.76. Uh, if we are on the level change, we have to do it manually. So, indicated airspeed remains the same as we are climbing, but Mach number uh, will increase. Okay, and uh, this is the purpose uh, because uh, we would like to have the airplane. Uh, into subs subsonic uh, condition ok so uh, do not overshoot uh, let's say like to pull out uh, the conditions uh, which are um, supersonic and there is a, uh, there is a reverse um, let's say uh, a reverse flight controls because of the shock, shock wave and uh, as we are on the airliner which is not proposed and uh, not constructed with this uh, thing uh, we should keep some rules okay so 
now as you can see we are reaching 0.76 that means that I will change over to 0.76 and now the airplane will keep 0.76 Mach number ok if we put it into the V now like this you can see with the purple at 0.76 and the changeover altitude in our case uh, it's different from the air uh, the envir environmental conditions and as well your gross weight and, and so on uh, so now you can see it will keep it 0.76